Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we're gonna to be testing out a bunch of new makeup. I actually am gonna be breaking this up into two videos because I do have enough to do a drugstore dedicated video as well as a high-end dedicated video. So we're gonna go ahead and get diving right into it. So let's do this. I do not have anything new for primer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And I've talked about this before, I'm not the biggest fan of this primer, but we are gonna use it today because I did use a different moisturizer than what I normally use. Well, this one tends to crumble really bad on my skin, and I personally don't think it likes the moisturizer I use. I am gonna color correct. I'm gonna be going in with the YSL High Cover Radiant Concealer. This concealer is way too pink for me. So I had actually gotten this a while ago. I had decided that it was never gonna work for me. So now I use it as kind of like a color corrector. And I actually think it works so much better as a color corrector. It's definitely not a color corrector that I would recommend people buy because I don't think it does an amazing job, but it gets the job done. I feel like it does correct a little bit, but it's not heavy. Today's foundation I'm gonna be testing out is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Long Wear Foundation. I don't believe it is new, but it could be wrong. I picked up the shade 12 Medium. We'll definitely see how it works out. I think it's pretty close. So this is supposed to be long wearing. It's supposed to have a lightweight feel with buildable coverage, and it's supposed to also be water resistant. I actually think I got myself like the perfect match, you guys. Look at that. <gasps> I don't like the smell. The smell really bothers me. I really hope this works out for me because I really like it. Definitely has that skin-like finish. All right, so there you have one layer of this. I feel like I've been stressing out lately, so I do have a, quite a few little zits going on on my chin. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how much I love this foundation. Like, I truly don't feel like I would need that much concealer at all. And I feel like it's almost perfect, don't you? Like I actually got like a perfect match, which is normally unheard of. I also do have the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer that we're gonna be testing out today. I ended up going in with the shade Macchiato. I truly have never been sold on a cream bronzer, ever. I've been sent cream bronzers and I normally gift them or put them in giveaways because I truly just don't think it works for me and I feel like it always pulls up my foundation. I'm gonna try a synthetic brush today. I'm gonna use the Dual Brush by It Cosmetics. I was up last night way too late watching this show on Netflix. It's like a new season, a new series. I, I don't know what it was, what it's called, but, and it's with that girl from Reba. I forget her name. I love her though. And I found it and I was like, oh, you know, I'll watch it. I mean, it was already like 11 o'clock. I didn't go to bed last night, you guys, till like three in the morning. Normally I go to bed at like midnight or if I'm on TikTok, like two. All right, do you guys see it? Cause I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's very light. Oh, well, let's take a little bit here. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I think I'm not getting enough product. Like I'm being very gentle, but once I kind of like swipe it and stuff, now I'm starting to get product. All right. I was kind of hoping that this foundation would settle on its own and I wouldn't have to set it much because I like the finish of it. And I think if it just settled a little bit more, it would look so beautiful, but all right, I don't want to go too heavy ham on this. I need to put on concealer and set it because right now I feel very sticky. Okay, so I went ahead and I added concealer. I did move my mirror up because I feel like I can't really see. I had it like right in front of me, but I can't really see very well. Um, and I keep going like this and hunching. So I'm just gonna move it right here if you guys don't mind. For powder, I'm gonna be taking another product that we got in our Boxy Charm, And this is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the medium highlight right here. I did go ahead and set my face because this unfortunately just isn't a foundation that is going to set on its own. So I went ahead and I set it. For the brows today, I am gonna to be testing out the Hourglass Arch Micro Brow Sculpting Pencil. This is something that we received in our Boxy Charm. I have the shade Dark Burnette. I can definitely tell you that I feel like ever since quarantine, my brow routine is completely different than what I'm used to. I've been kind of more into the natural brow as opposed to the more boxy slash structured brow. All right, so this product is very, very light, very waxy. 
and I don't like that. Alright, so I went ahead and I tried to deepen up my brow as much as possible. Unfortunately, it just isn't going to work, so I did go in with a little bit of brow powder to just add a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow really quickly. So I did pick up the Jouer Light to Medium Bronzer Duo. And looking at it right now, I don't know how well this is going to work for me, but we're gonna try it out as well. So we're gonna use this shade because it's the darkest shade right now. And I'm thinking it might work. I don't know. I'm thinking I might hold on to this. I know in my video, I said that I didn't know if I wanted to hold on to it in my Sephora haul, but I think I might just because Right now, I feel like it may work, and we're almost coming up to fall. We're not very far away from winter, scary enough, and I feel like this may work for me. So I may actually end up holding on to it. I do have a few blush options, but this one here is calling my name, and this has got a highlighter as well as a blush option. So I think we're going to go in with this if I can open it. Um, but this is the NARS Orgasm X palette. I'm gonna take a really loose brush and I'm actually gonna try out Orgasm X today. I'm simply going to spin on my cheeks. I am gonna be taking the same palette and I'm gonna be diving into this highlighter right here. This is a such a beautiful champagne highlight. Look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. Oh, I'm so in love with this highlight. You guys. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna add just a little bit to the center of my nose as well. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks very wet looking. So let me go ahead and scoot you guys in just a little bit closer so we can go ahead and focus on the eyes. We're gonna be playing around with the Raw Beauty Christie palette in Pure Cosmetics. I decided today I'm gonna be playing around with this side of the palette. Now let's take the shade Copper Boxes. I want to start working it on the outer corner and really rounding it. It's going to be more rounded than it is going to be extended. Holy cow, this thing is pigmented. <clears throat> and this is going to take a little bit of time because I do plan to build this up. I'm going to take B, which is the shade right below it, and I'm going to take it on a Violet Voss a little bit of a smaller taper brush and I'm going to use this right into the crease because I just want to deepen it up a little bit more. Holy mackerel. I was not expecting it to be that deep. Although I have tried other Pure Cosmetics palettes and I will say I've always found the formula to be very easy to work with and the formula has always been really good. So I'm not super surprised that the formula is good in this. Um, because I expected it to be like that, I guess I should say. So it should look something like this. I kind of want to take this brown a little bit higher. So I really want it to kind of showcase. Now let's go in with the shade Told You. And this I'm going to buff all over the inner corner of the eye. All right, looks crazy now, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna go in and cut the crease. I'm just gonna be taking a concealer. I like to use a potted concealer. This one here is by NARS. And I'm gonna take it on this Cala brush. This is a Cala Concealer 513 brush. And I just literally broke a nail while I was making lunch for the kids. Isn't that awesome? I want to dive into this side of the palette and I'm gonna take that bright white and place it all over the eye. Oh my gosh, this is such a bright, bright white. Holy cow, that is intense. Let's go back into copper boxes and start blending these colors together. I'm gonna take Cafe Disco in the center and I'm gonna pop that as my inner corner highlight. Oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. I'm gonna dive into Camelot and I'm gonna take this shade and run it up against my lash line. Mm, I love these yellows. It's like a mustard yellow that looks like caca after a while, but I don't know what it is. I love it. I'm gonna go in with Am I Orange on the other side of the palette and run that on my lash line. Yes. Uh, I am gonna add a little bit of the 24-7 Glide On Pencil from Urban Decay. This is like a burgundy shade. It's called Love Drug, but I kind of wanted to add just a little bit of like you know, purple to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye and then we will go ahead and pop on some lashes. I actually just got this. This is the Lash Freak by Urban Decay. Oh my God, I love that packaging. Look at that, it's like a lime green packaging. So it's got some pretty interesting claims and looking on trend mood, I thought that the wand was shaped very interestingly. So you could see that like this part of the wand right here, you're supposed to be able to kind of 
push up on your lashes, I believe. And then it's got this, you know, it's like tapered a little bit and then you, you know, run your lashes like this. Then it's got some bristles like right here for your lower lash line. It's got all these different claims though. Even though my plan is to wear lashes with this look, cause I definitely need it. I still want to try out this mascara. I want to see what it's like. Immediate clumps, wonderful. Why so clumpy? I don't know if it's because it's a new wand or whatever, but oh my gosh, I'm getting so many clumps. All right, well that's better. Oh, wow, look at that. Do you see how much of additional product I had to pull out from that? So once this is done, you're supposed to be able to like take this part and fuck. What the heck? And push up? Ew, I don't know. Mm, no, mm -mm. I feel like clumps in my lashes. Uh-uh, maybe I'm doing this wrong, but it's mascara. What kind of a tutorial do you need for mascara? I don't know about that, you guys. So I put on the lashes. I had to fix my um, lash band and my eyes because I was trying to use this Volier Lash and Go product and it's supposed to, I think, be lash glue and it was just a hot mess. It was a complete mess. So I went ahead and gave myself a break, did my hair. I just put my hair back in some braids, but we're gonna go ahead and finish off with the lips. I do have two lip products that I wanted to test out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my lips in with just a brown lip liner, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go in with the KKW um, lip liner in the shade number two. This is one of my all time favorite lip liners. I'm almost out. So I'm gonna go in. So I did pick up one of the Lawless lipsticks in the shade Suede. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's so, so beautiful. And because I am very messy when I apply my lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. And then I'm just gonna finish off with the Lancome Juicy Tubes. This is in the shade Tickled Pink. Mmm, it smells delicious. So that wraps up today's new product tryout, you guys. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these products and if you were able to get your hands on this palette and what your thoughts are. Right now, I'm a little bit nervous because I've been kind of eyeing my skin as far as the foundation goes and I feel like it's starting to creep through my powders already and I did add a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter which usually keeps everything pretty well kept in you know um so I'm just a little bit nervous on how well it's going to do but we're going to keep on trucking throughout the day thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys are new to my channel I hope you guys will stick around hit that subscribe button before you guys end this video here make sure to check out one of these videos so you guys can hang out with me a little bit more so you guys know the drill click on one of these videos and I'll see you guys later bye